Hey guys, this is Matt with bleepinjeep.com and today I'm going to show you how to change your differential fluid, your gear oil, your diff oil, your pumpkin juice, your your differential fluid. But first check out the website bleepinjeep.com. We've got all the best off-road videos on YouTube. We've got uh, discount codes and coupons for all the parts you need and we've got t-shirts and hats made by Bleep and Jeep. So check it out. All right. So, let's get started. The first thing you'll need is a hammer. You'll need some uh, RTV. Uh, we're going to not only change it, but we're going to clean it out. And for that, you'll need some brake parts cleaner. You'll probably need a socket wrench, probably a half inch to uh, get the bolts off. You'll need a little bucket. You'll need uh, some paper towels. And you'll need some differential oil, some gear oil, some pumpkin juice. Where is it? Alright, so if you're just going to check your oil or top it off, there's usually a drain plug right here, and you can just pop that off with a screwdriver. A lot of times it's an actual drain plug that you have to unscrew, so you can do that with a uh, crescent wrench. So you just pull that out, and you can stick your finger in there, make sure that there's gear oil in there. It should be up to the top. Um, you can also use this to check for water, to see if there's any water in there. Um, it, after you just drove it, it'll be all milky if there's water in there, kind of all slushy and airy. But uh, in this case, we're not going to check it or top it off. We're just going to take the cover off and drain it all. So in that case, you can use a uh, socket wrench and pull these off. Or a faster way is just to use the air gun. Now once you get to this little tag here, make sure you keep that. That has important information on it like your gear ratio and your axle type. And just set that aside and put that back whenever you're done. Now take your bucket and put it underneath. And then take your hammer and just give it a nice firm tap. Let the oil come out. And you can pull your cover right off that easy. Alright, now while you're in here you want to check for damage. What you can do is put the car in neutral then you should be able to spin everything around. You want to check your ring gear for damage, see if there's any missing or broken teeth. Also your pinion gear which is back behind here and all of your spider gears. Everything looks pretty good. Now what you also want to do is put your finger down here and pull some of this oil out from the bottom. A lot of times there'll be a little pocket in some of these axles too. So you want to dig around in that little pocket and see if there's any metal shavings in there. Uh, if you have big chunks of metal, that's really bad. Um, if you're just getting little shavings, like um, it'll look like silver paint inside the oil. And uh, that could be bad too. It means something is going wrong with the gears meshing up and uh, something's getting chewed up. But uh, everything looks good on this one. The oil is nice and clean. So what we're going to do is just clean it up now. Uh, put everything back together and put some new oil in it. Alright, so to clean it, I'm just going to back up a little ways and hit it with the brake parts cleaner. Gonna make sure any uh, sludge or metal shavings and all the oil got out of there just using some napkins. Pull it all out. Then I'm gonna turn everything around. Then I'll hit this side. Whoa! Now I'll just wipe it down again and then let everything dry and we'll be getting close to the finish line. Well, I forgot to mention you want to clean this up too. Uh, I'll take that outside and hit it with the brake parts cleaner. Uh, if you have a uh, parts cleaner, this would be a good time to use it as well, but I don't have one. Now the next thing you want to do is take a razor blade and you can scrape this pretty good 
with a razor blade um, and a paper towel and get this nice and clean so that when you put a new seal on it'll be a good seal. Now if you have a little die grinder or an air grinder with a little abrasive pad on the end it'll make a lot faster job of it. Alright, that's nice and clean, but since I got dust all in there now, I need to clean out the inside once again. And the same with the cover. Alright, there it is. Not that pretty on the outside, but very nice and shiny on the inside. Here guys, let me show you this. This is that metal tag that I took off the rear diff, and I cleaned it up. And right there you can see 3.55, there it is, and uh, that's the gear ratio, the ring and pinion gear ratio um, for this Jeep as it came stock. And right here is a bunch of other numbers, I don't know what those mean. If you do, let me know. Alright guys, now that everything is nice and shiny and clean, we can go ahead and start putting it back together. Now that means RTV. Alright, now find your favorite RTV. I usually like to use the cherry flavor, but I'm out. And you're just going to take that and you're going to go around and add just a little bit extra around the holes. Now you need a dry finger to do this. You're just going to go around, make sure you get completely around each hole and flatten it out everywhere else. Just like that. Alright, make sure it's good and even coated all around. Uh, make sure you didn't miss any spots. And then you're just going to let it sit up for a minute. And I'll move the camera. Alright, about a minute later you'll come in. If you uh, have the empty hole you can use that as a place to put your finger. Make sure you know where two of your bolts are and make sure you get it in the right position. The, uh, this area that's punched out larger is for that gear. So you're just gonna line it up, look for your holes, pop it on, and then put two bolts in there. and two. Now what we're going to do is just uh, put all the rest in then we'll go around in kind of a crisscross pattern and tighten this thing down. Uh, I'm not sure what the torque specs are but uh, they're not it's not very much torque on this thing. Alright now just go around in a crisscross pattern and tighten this up. As you go you'll see the uh, RTV kind of spill out the edges and you want to just do a little bit at a time so as not to get one side real tight and the other real loose. And I usually don't torque these, I just kind of tighten them down snug. But if you want to torque them, be my guest. Alright, now they're all snug. The only thing left to do is put gear oil in here. Now that's pretty simple. All we're going to do is fill that up until the gear oil starts spilling out and then we'll put the cap on. Now this is very important that you don't forget this. A lot of times it's easy to do because uh, usually what you want to do is let this uh, dry just a little bit before you put the gear oil in. And uh, then you come back and you, you get in your Jeep and just take off and you forget to put gear oil in there. So don't do that. Make sure to fill it back up. Now if you got a gallon jug of this stuff, there's no real good way of getting it in there. If you know of something, let me know. That's not going to work. Uh. Alright, now it's to the top. Put the cap on. Ooh. Give it a little smack. And clean it up. And you are good to go. Woo! That was fun. Woo! 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the Facebook page. Also check out the website, bleepinjeep.com. We've got all the best off-road videos on YouTube, none of the boring stuff. Uh, we've also got Jeep and Apparel and discount coupon codes for all your off-road needs and other stuff too. So check it out. Don't forget to leave your comments below. We'll see you next time.